that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like having to evict people, but. Nobody does, but we can just on the end Yeah, it's one thing, it's one thing for non-payment, but then when you got other problems associated, that just makes it, like, accelerates it. That's my two bottom tab pieces. Now I'm about to do the side pieces. Okay, my uh, side piece is length. All of my, all of the widths of my tabs are seven inches, and the length of the side piece looks like it's gonna be 33. It's gonna be a Kareem. Oh no, wait a minute. Yeah, Kareem was 33. Or a bird, either one. Larry Bird, Kareem, either one. Take a pick. It's gonna be a Larry. 33. Okay, now this is, man, this is perfect. This should go into like the fiberglass and institute. This is a perfect example of what, of how your fillet should be. This edge is routed and your fillet comes down and it, see how it transitions? It slopes on, it slopes onto the hole. Whereas this side, it came down and it had an angle right here. I mean, it wasn't a hard angle, but it was still an angle. So this way of doing it with the spoon, with Betty, doing it with Betty is, is, a, is like a must. I, I would say go with Betty. Betty Crocker, Betty Crocker, so so, the A plus, the uh, C, a high, a low C. If I had to grade it, Betty would get an A, and having an angle right here, and you barely pass, I might have to go to summer school. All right, let me get busy.
man, I gotta buy a DA. This is the pits. I'm going to buy a DA today. Wooey. There's one spot I missed, man, and I'm gonna screw up and have to wipe everything down again to fix it. Before I test fit my uh, tabbing, I wanted to go over something with people that, that may not know that you keep on hearing me say about a transom plate. And I'm hoping, I can't see, I, I hope when this gets you in the shot. But this is your transom plate. And your transom plate goes about right there. Okay? It goes about right there. Kind of. goes about right there. Now, your, your thickness, I keep on referring to uh, a thickness, shoot. And what the deal is, is that... Oh, God! Ugh. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My transom plate is a little bit off. As far as, I'll show you that in a minute though. But right now, the point that I'm trying to make is that once your, once your transom plate is on, you have to be within a certain thickness right here. It has to be a certain thickness. And if it's a thickness here, it has to be the same thickness here, 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 all the way around the transom plate. Uh, or actually all the way around the transom, it has to be the same thickness. So if you were to start laying out your tabbing, If you were to start laying out your tabbing, and you did it like this, okay, then you would be encroaching on on that thickness, and this portion would be thicker than up here, and you can't have that. It all has to be the same. So what you have to do is, wow, what you have to do is you have to tab underneath wherever that spot is see so that you don't alter you don't alter that thickness now my transom plate when i put it on i had to drop it down a little bit because it was a little bit off so let me get it and show you i mean i'm still going to do it like this but and then i should probably trim this to come to about here so i marked that uh 
probably, I want it out on the hole like two inches because the next piece, I'll say here. Something like that. And then, I'll trim this piece about the same. And then, uh, I'm going to take the camera down and try to put my transom up there and show you what I'm talking about. Now, my transom should, <laughs> should sit right there. I mean, I'm sorry. My transom plate should sit right there. But, see how it's, it's level with the, oh man, I can't hold the camera and do this at the same time. But, see how the transom plate is leveled with the keyhole? That's how it should sit. And then it would have gave me maybe an extra quarter inch to come up on my tabbing. But I can't do that because of the bottom eye. It, it's... Uh, man, I can't get it in there. The bottom eye is not, I have to drop it about a quarter inch. I have to drop the transom about a quarter inch for that eye right there to be flush with the transom. See? And then this eye too. So, so for these two eyes to be flush, I got to drop the transom about a quarter inch. And it drops that upper piece, which I don't think is a big deal. Okay, scratch that. I can't, uh, I cannot drop it a quarter inch because the holes on the outside are already set where they are. So, with, with that in mind, I should leave it where it is. Oh. So with that in mind, I should leave the transom plate level with the keyhole and just tab up to the bottom of the transom plate and just if I whatever and then deal with whatever else happens when it happens when it comes instead of my keyhole having this shape my keyhole goes straight that's basically saying what I'm trying to say is that instead of my keyhole contouring this transom plate my keyhole comes straight and cuts across so I don't know if I have to build up a little bit right here um, I don't know man and I, I need to go back and try to look at my pictures and see what it looked like when it when it came out but if my memory serves me correct I traced it I traced it exactly to the uh, keyhole. I didn't trace it. I didn't trace it to the uh, to the transom plate. I traced it to the keyhole. So why that? Why there's a this uh, a discrepancy there? I do not know. But I'm gonna figure it out. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Back to work. That piece is perfect. I probably can leave that piece. No, I probably should cut it back because when I come in with the next bigger tabbing, I probably should cut this back.
Okay, I'm gonna go find me a piece of cardboard. Give me a roller. Um, give me a piece of, give me a, uh, and mix me up a batch. And we about to tap this thing in.